What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We got a good one for you now. The December Cornwell Flyer. This is the last one for Cornwell for the year of 2023. We got some hyper steps in here. Let's take a look at them. Get down and dirty with Cornwell. Come on. All right, guys, ladies, gentlemen, you know, we got the BOGOs, BOGOs, and you know what my saying is, buy the blue, save the green, the old blue power Cornwell, Cornwell BOGOs, blue power, not the worst thing in the world, not as good as some of the other stuff, in fact, you know, here's the thing is, just a quick tidbit of my, my advice, the Cornwell Blue Power stuff is definitely decent stuff if you buy it at the right deal. And these BOGOs are really the way to buy them. So, without that being said, two thirty three ninety five for a half-inch drive BOGO SAE power drive, power drive socket. Not terrible, considering the fact that if you look at SunX prices, they're roughly about $100 a set. In some cases, you can get them for about $100, $150. So, not terrible, plus you're getting the tool truck, so you get that warranty. Three-eighths to an inch and a quarter, both sets, 223. Over here, let's go over here, because I know you guys want to see the Tempest, Tempest Points Mechanics Drill Bits. These are $369.99. These appear to be USA-made ones, the versions of either, uh, I forget the names, Drill Hogs, or whoever's making these in the Hyper Steps, which are apparently a controversial thing. I'm not going to get into it. I may possibly do a video, but I'm, I'm getting, I get all sorts of people saying, you know, things about, oh, well, this bit is this and that. The truth of the matter is I own the hyper steps. They work really good. The high speed steels work really good. The cobalts from Matco's are completely different. These are not cobalt. They are cobalt coated, not the same. I don't know. They're high-speed steel with a cobalt coating. So, they may work good. And I don't know the warranty on these. I think somebody said at one time they're lifetime warrantied through Cornwell. $369.95. A little bit different price than the other ones. I think King Cut is the one brand. I'm sure somebody's going to say it in the comment. King Cut's one brand. There's so many. There's like five different drill bit companies. That's one thing we got going for us in USA is we got plenty of good USA drill bit companies. Anyways, before this video gets too long, Blue Cat Mini Die Grinders 169. Then we have the 72 tooth Blue Power Metric Standard and Stubby Length Ratcheting Wrenches for three, 259. And then we have the Long Flex Heads for 344. And you're going to get the Metric and the SAE Flexes on those. Not a bad gig. Of course, you get a free drill with the drill bits, too. I forgot to mention. Let's move right along. We got a lot to cover on this flyer, so we got to get moving here. We got the six-piece slotted Phillips screwdriver set made in the USA. Now, Cornwall has taken over rebranding of channel locks, so that means that they completely don't have any screwdrivers made in the USA, which, to be honest with you, I don't think they have had for a while now. The last ones they had would have been... The square handled plastic ones, and I think those are completely gone. They might have been being made by Channel Lock back then. Uh, I have not played with any of the Channel Lock screwdrivers yet to date. Not my huge forte. I'll be honest with you, an automotive screwdrivers are, you know, you got your pride, you got your pride drivers, <laughs> and you got your number two Phillips use, maybe an occasional number one, but they're just not as relevant. And I don't like twisting my wrist. I like using the old cordless stuff. But 139 and 143, not a huge price difference from their other ones. And uh, if they are hard handle, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't get them. I probably would rather get the Cornwall ones just because they're, they'll say Cornwall on them. I know that's stupid to pay a little extra for that, but that's just who I am. Uh, we got the half inch drive split beam torque wrench. Great torque wrench. You can't beat that. It's a solid torque wrench. Very durable. They work well, $239.95. The transmission jack, $149. And then an impact for $399. We're going to try to fly through this. You know Cornwall covers a lot of the same things. And then once again, we get right into the 4-in-1 brake caliper spreader, $61.95. The no-go, my least favorite. GB, the GB150, I will tell you, it is disappeared. it's disappearing from their line. And my opinion about this is, is they came out with the GB150X, 
and it seems to be i have talked to a few guys that have it and it seems to be a better better jump pack so i can't knock the gb 150x but this gb 150 i owned i personally did not like was it would go dead when it was just setting and i wasn't using it and you know blah 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 anyways moving right along we, i've got plenty of videos and i've harped on that plenty of times blue power metric sae and angle red set bogo 444 here's the screwdrivers right here the long cabinet screwdrivers okay six piece cabinet screwdriver set with free five piece utility scraper 159 like i said prices are very similar and then we have a cornwell tire inflator and camping ants axe bogo don't tell me how that correlation came up there but 98.95 cornwell loves their swords and axes so uh you know but anyways the bogo there the old bogo for the uh, screwdrivers not terrible i have those screwdrivers don't hate them we got some extensions here 12 piece wobble extension set 250 fire department coffee now available hmm so they got coffee now they're selling i don't know why they didn't just pick up black rifle locking extensions 219 and then a whole bundle 18 piece set for 179 not bad is that the magnet oh don't do the magnetic ones please don't do the magnetic ones parts jars 24.95 those are neat magnetic parts tray 94.95 we just see those from the mac mac flyer and socket trays uh, the magnetic sock extensions are <sighs> It looks like, the, are they magnetic with, oh my, Lanta. Oh, jeez. Tell me it ain't so. Magnetic extensions, universal joint and adapter set. I don't understand. Help me understand. Uh, sockets here. We got some magnet, magnet panels. Those things are nice and they're dirt cheap. 12 by 12 magnet panel, 39 I have those. Those are from Me Mechanics Time Savers. We got a three-piece adapter, $34.99. Slotted re flexible wrench racks, easy red. $39.99. Those rent racks ain't terrible. I do have one one set of them. Just kind of expensive compared to my tool organizers that I use in mine. Uh, we got plenty of bits here. 98, 172, 122. You know, nothing too crazy there. Oh boy, look at here. More, the screwdrivers. Once again, six, se seven piece extra long star screwdriver set, 121. Six piece micro slotted screwdriver set, 58. And then three piece iron driver set. The old iron driver. Pry bar and screwdriver hybrid. Pretty sweet. That's kind of neat. It doesn't say that it's made in the USA, but I'm guessing that's a Mayhew rebrand by the sand, by the fact that it says MH Mayhew. Pretty cool. I think I've seen those from Mayhew, but we might look those up later. I might be interested in getting those. I don't I got a set of Doyle ones I really beat the heck out of. I'll be honest with you. I, I gotta give it those Doyle ones, old Doyle ones I have are not terrible uh we got some socket bits t-handle hex and stars but down here these are mayhew rebranded and we just went over this on one of my amazon flyers now these are 99.95 and 106 if you've seen that these are about 50 bucks on amazon so you see the mark up there you're paying your choice these are pretty durable depending on what you want to do with warranty but those are some of the m best bits i love those bits they're fantastic moving right along in here we've got some pliers Let's see anything on here we got four piece metal working pin punches auto metal working punches 64.95 heavy pick set 51 bucks we got locking pliers with t-shirt combo and then we have the picks, eight piece hook and pick set, $49.95. Automatic center punch. I definitely like the German one I bought from the Nipex uh, sister company. I did a video on it. The, I'm drawing a blank on the name of it, but it's like worse butter or something like that. There's a video on it on automatic center, center punch. It looked like the Mayhew. Anyways, magnetic base dial indicator, $47.95. We have screw extractor sets for $98.95. Uh, power universals let's see we got anything in here two-piece round head thumb wheel ratchet set 54.95 24 piece 3h drive blue power sae socket set 144 40 piece tap and die set 104 yeah nothing really jumping out right here uh 11 piece half inch drive blue power sae socket set 164 one inch sae deep socket set 374 the flex head angle impact wrench i don't know why 
people don't love those things more i love mine uh 349 I do, i'm old school though i love my air tools otherwise I got some standard air tool stuff on here we're not gonna go get too crazy about talking about some, some of this stuff mag slotted mag built magnetic drill bit holder i believe that's a vim rebrand actually pretty sure because it says vm on it. it is absolutely uh high performance high performance burr bit set 179 12 piece mini burr set 109 that would be nice to have that five piece left-handed cobalt drill set drill bit set reciprocating saw nothing too crazy there lights Oh boy, lights. We got a bunch of stream lights. Guys, I, I feel like stream lights on its way out. Honestly, they have just been lacking big time. I, I'm I'm jumping off. There's so many good lights out there nowadays. So many better options out there. The blue ion looks a lot like the Chlor Automotive light. Uh, interestingly enough, but mm, nothing too crazy on here that looks like it's jumping out. We got some air couplers. Those things are really nice. Cornwell Arca Toolbox. What a nice looking toolbox. I think Cornwell did a great job coming up with an economic toolbox here. It's got the locker on it. They don't give us a price. We got the hutch. And I think they st stood it up a little bit higher so it wasn't like their old Pro Series, which was really short. But I think they should have just made those drawers a little bit shallower and put in a third drawer there. And that would have really made that a pretty awesome unit to make somebody more enticed into buying a Cornwell. They have a bunch of different colors, torch blue, vapor, and the colors on these Arcas are really nice. I don't know why they didn't put a different color on here, but it's nice to see the Arca toolbox. Obviously, we just don't get the price for it. We got the Cornwell Elite Series toolbox. Two-drawer. Must be just the two-drawer. New size. Well, why don't you give us a size on this? Smaller toolbox, 54-inch, 54-inch nine-drawer. Looks like just a smaller version of the Arca. Maybe that's what they do with it. I don't know. <clears throat> Haven't seen much on it. Cornwall doesn't always put out the best stuff on their new stuff. But I'm sure somebody will leave a comment in the comment box and tell us what the difference between the Elite and the Arca is. Uh, TP, uh, we got some Altel stuff. Nothing too crazy here. Let you take a look at this one. You can stop and pause and take a look if you're interested in any of this. We're going to kind of thumb right through this. 54 piece universal electronic specialties connector 189 uh yeah i don't see anything angled needle nose stripper crimper cutters 44.95 those are new they're saying smoke machines we got the inline spark tester i've got that one those are definitely i mean i've been using those for years i see a lot of i see a lot of the revival youtubers starting to use them now it's kind of funny uh <clears throat> gm harmonic balancer puller you know a lot of this is pretty basic stuff i like the replay replay relay bypass kit can't talk 89.99 those are from I, ipa products very nice stuff uh we got a socket sensor combo 114 mm, we got some compression textures fuel injection testers Dual gauge cylinder leak down tester, 11 piece ratcheting serpentine belt kit from Lyle, 114.95. Flexible button connector pliers, those are rebranded re from Lyle, 89.95. Those are my favorite personally. Those things are handy for fuel line disconnects. We've got an airlift radiator purge and refill cooler for 239. We got the coolant pressure tester. From Marshall Scientific and another Marshall Scientific coolant refill retention pressure tester. That's my favorite one. They're up to three ninety five ninety five. That is insane. I paid two hundred bucks for mine. Unbelievable flush gun, refractor, uh, Mighty Vac fluid extractor seventy one thirty seven and one sixty three ninety fives. The oil filter the plier set, those are rebranded from Channel Lock, I believe, $74.95. Quick Flow, uh, private brand tools, $148.95. It Lyle inner ride tie rod tool. Nothing too crazy here. Man, they're pretty this stuff is all repetitive. Universal hydraulic flaring tool. There is another flaring tool that I have been meaning to show you guys that I have had for quite some time that I just never talk about. It's a bench type one. But the pneumatic one from uh, Master Cool is definitely the cat's 
Cat's Patoot, but only five ninety nine. Uh, flip sockets, axle sockets, caster cambers. I mean, nothing too crazy here. They're really just the Lyle exhaust remover pliers. If you don't have those, you should have those already. They're about twenty bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you don't know what those Lyle exhaust remover pliers on, you've been living on a rock. They've only been around for twenty years. So, it's funny, I see a lot of the younger YouTubers finally getting a ha handle on those. I always giggle about that. <laughs> it's always fun to see the young guys who just find tools after 20 years. Either they've had a bad dealer or just, you know. And people say that tools don't make you a better mechanic. Well, I'll tell you what. The exhaust remover pliers are one of those tools that absolutely make you a better mechanic. Absolutely. The tools don't make you a better mechanic. Well, remove a remove a uh, exhaust belt from an exhaust without one and tell me that you're not a better mechanic with those pliers because they're a pain that's a fact leave a comment down below if you don't believe that i'd like to take that i'll take that uh i'll take that survey all day long <laughs> uh we got some jack stands 20 ton air plus big easy that's my favorite tool to have 79.95 those big easies are amazing you guys got to have one of those if you haven't had one of those those are another tools that i say is a must have Lyle window holders, twenty two ninety five, definitely nice tool to have. And there's the Lock Tools technology, uh, LTI technologies, multi easy wedge, multi piece easy access inflated wedge kit, ninety nine ninety five. That's a two piece kit. I have that one too. Uh, let's see here, bumper perfect hole punch kit. You know, a lot of body equipment stuff here. Ninety degree push pin pliers. We got some welding helmets here for around three hundred bucks, hundred and fifty to three hundred bucks. Underhoist stand, 209, 2-ton low-profile jack, 549, 22-ton shot press. I'll tell you, I really want to get a Graco uh, shot press, the 50-tonner, really bad. If I run across the deal on one of those one of these days, it's going to happen. We got some welders, dual voltage, plasmas, all that stuff here for 3700 down to 1000 500 you name it. Shop equipment stuff. Oh boy, here we go. Attaboy Deadbolt Knife at $98.99. We have a black G10 full tang hunter for $33. And then we have a katana sword. The Blue Dragon with stand. Wow, I was really hoping that they had that for $35.99. Watchfire Professional Serbian Cleaver. Here's the funny thing is I actually have a Serbian cleaver I cook with. Believe it or not, I'm not a chef, but I do cook with it. And I have a Serbian cleaver. That same that looks exactly like the same knife I have, and I paid fifty bucks for it. And uh, mine is really really nice. They're, you wouldn't believe how heavy those are. If you guys are interested in getting one of those, let me know. I will share a link with you on that. The air vacuum kit. I've been threatening on getting one of those for years now. Still don't have one, but those are nice. If you're cleaning out intakes, they get in tight without having to get a big hose and dragging an air uh, vacuum out. I still think those are one of the best tools. And I believe this is our last pick. Yes, it is. We have the nine, the 120 tooth ratchets. These are the non-USA made Cornwall ratchets. And look at the prices on some of these. Half inch drive Blue Power XL 179, 120 tooth. Half inch drive XL 120 tooth handle ratchet 184. So the 209 for the XL flex head 30 incher is 209. And the 30 incher xl flex head 122 for 214 some of these are down as far as 59.99 for the quarter inch drive a flex head i don't know how good these ratchets are I haven't got my hands on any of these yet they looked kind of bulky i'm sure they're not the quality of some of the other ratchets out there but they still look like they're pretty nice a little pricey though for a non-usa made ratchet but anyways guys that's the video for you i hope you enjoy your december cornwall flyer remember to like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching